Hey YouTube, it's Jim and I'm here and I'm going to do a Wrestling Society X, the complete first and last season for this set, DVD review, um, the groundbreaking wrestling show from MTV. This was one of my favorite companies, but it didn't last long and I wish it was still going because I liked it. And I'm happy I got this. I Saw Legal 01 got it recently too. And I'm gonna do a review of it. Um, yeah, that has some no, people, mostly a lot of XPW people, because it's sent from, it's in California, Southern California, and that's where XPW was. It's got Mr. Wrestling or what, Matt Classic or something like that. And that was uh, supposedly Colt Cabana. What people were saying Ricky Banderas, Chaos or Kid Chaos from uh, XPW. That's Judas Macias when he was in TNA. It's got uh, Matt Dog Twenty, M Dog Twenty, Teddy Hart. There's M Dog Twenty right there, but there's him right there. There's Teddy Hart again. X Pac, Fabian Kalen, the announcer Vampiro, one of my favorite wrestlers. Uh, Matt Seidel or Evan Bourne as you people know him now and Lizzie Valentine here let me try. and then it shows all the wrestlers right here it's pretty cool um Vampiro Sean Waltman or Six Pac I always refer to it in this Ricky Banderas Youth Suicide Matt Seidel, Lizzie Valentine, Jack Evans, Human Tornado, Scorpio Sky, Vic Grimes, a lot of people know him from like XPW, Nick Grimes, Eric Cannon, Matt Classic, El Hombre Blanco, El and Mascardo, Brent, Brett Ernest, and Chris Kloss. Chris Kloss was a announcer at XPW. WS Extra host and um, interviewer Lacey, the most hated man in pro wrestling, what the heck, Fabian Kalen, the announcer, and the tag teams, the Fields and the Fairy, uh, Teddy Hart, and Matt Dog, or not Matt Dog, M Dog, Team Dragon Gate, I don't remember their names, Los Pochos, Squapos, Aaron Aguilera, Jesus, in like 2004. With WWE and Chaos, uh, the Cartel, Delicado and Lil Cholo, I don't remember the other two names. Alcatraz and Luke Cox. And yes, Tyler Black or Seth Rollins in the Shield right there. D-I-F-H with Jimmy Jacobs who is in Scum and ROH right now. Um, Trailer Park Boys, Nate Webb. And someone, I don't remember the other two names. That 70 team, I don't remember that guy's name. Uh, Joey Ryan and TNA Joey Magnum Ryan. And Keeping It Gangsta, I don't remember their names. Um, same thing on the back and the front, but this thing doesn't show up. Wrestling WSX will join Freaks and Geeks, Undeclared, Firefly, and other TV grades and Pantheon of Shows. Americans were too stupid to get. From that was from Derek Bergen of F4WOnline.com, featuring the never before seen unaired season finale, including the Piranha Deathmatch, Exploding Cage, Exploding Steel Cage, Time Bomb Deathmatch. That was awesome. In January 2007, the pro wrestling industry was shaken to its core when MTV launched Wrestling Society X. Rumors ran rampant throughout the industry about heads of other wrestling promotions fearing what would happen if the, this hip new take on their business filled younger, more entertaining, more spectacular wrestlers. And matches caught on. Luckily for them, like all great revolutions, it was misunderstood by many, including the very network that stood to benefit 
most from its success. But for the glorious, for the nine glorious episodes and the one absolutely unbelievably, uh, that's supposed to be a cuss word, crazy season finale. I don't know what is it. One, two, it's five letters. I don't know what, which one that word would be, but season finale that never aired. Wrestling, society acts changed the people that throughout wrestling had to be presented. Those who love it, those who got it, loved it. Those who didn't still couldn't believe the excitement of the matches compared to what was being offered by the established wrestling companies. Wrestling Society X offered the best and high-flying No Limits aerial assaults and with new generations of wrestlers, wrestling stars, and the most brutal bouts imaginable. As vets Vampiro, Sean Waltman, and Ricky Banderas sacrificed flesh, blood, and limbs battling through the Wrestling Society X bunkers with light tubes, barbed wire, and exploding coffins to prove who was uh, worthy of being champion. This is the evolution of sports entertainment began and ended not with a whimper, but with a bang. And then it shows K Kid Chaos or Chaos kicking the <clears throat> at 70s ball, uh, disco ball and crushing it. Vampiro choke slamming uh, X Pac. Jack Evans kicking, looks like an insecurity, insecurity to Scorpio Sky's face, and then can't really tell what that is. It looks like Teddy Hart and Spider Web or whatever. Nick Jack Web or something Web. Then uh, Ricky Banderas and Vampiro, and then. Lizzie Valentine and Lacey. This collector's edition four disc set gives you an all access pass inside Wrestling Society X and the world of pro wrestling. All nine episodes which were aired on MTV plus the never before seen aired but never before aired season finale. Ten Wrestling Society extra bonus shows. Deleted and unaired scenes. Fifteen Virtual Wrestling Society X trading cards, alternate commentary featuring the cast and writers, four music videos, photo gallery, casting tape matches of stars before Wrestling Society X, Lizzie Valentine and Lacey videos, and the transformation of Fabian Kalen, feature skip gallery, and much more. Open it up. That was a long. I haven't barely even said anything about it. Right. Here's the first disc with Jack Evans, Vampiro, and um, X Pac as episodes one through four with the Wrestling Society extras. Um, Aaron Aguilera, Scorpio Sky, and that 70 team. Uh, this two, extra five, episodes five through eight, the Wrestling Society extras, episodes nine and ten with the Wrestling Society extras and the bonus materials, and this had some st like some unaired scenes. They, some of these were weird vignettes and stuff and stuff that was gonna happen for season two, but season two never happened. Like Lizzie cheating again, and she was kissing. Uh, or not kissing, but like, messing around with Matt Classic, and then this, this disc has Los Pochos, Guapos, and the Cartel, Matt Dog 20, and Team Dragon Gate. I guess they have these two on there, because on the last episode, the Cartel and, uh, Los Pochos, Guapos had an awesome Piranha death match, and that was where you had to get your opponent in the thing of Piranhas for three seconds, and... And then you won, like a Piranha Tank, and then uh, the Fields and the Fury Team Dragon Gate in a Time Bomb match. And uh, Los Pochos Guapos won, I mean, uh, the Cartel won, because, like, Los Pochos Guapos, uh, Kid Chaos, or Chaos, got, like, went over the ropes, landed down it, 
and they put this thing over top of him, and he was stuck in there for three seconds. The ref did a fast count, but it was still okay. That was a good match, and then this match was good. Teddy Hart could have uh, pushed the time bump thing, but he did like a shooting star press and jumped off, and and then that guy, Sakota or whatever, like put stuff in his face, and then it was just hard to explain, but he threw the ref into the side of the cage, and it blew up, and then they got out after they pushed the thing. Like, one of them got up there, pushed the thing, and then they got out, and Team Dragon Gate won. And this, and then I think this one, this was more bonus materials, and it has Lizzie and um, Lacey. Uh, it has them in, like, bikinis and stuff with Nick Grimes. Kid uh, Chaos, Ruckus, and there, and, uh, Jack Evans, they had their matches, like their tryout matches or whatever. They was giving them a little bit. And Kid Chaos faced Supreme in a match at Wrestling Society X, and it was Team Blackout versus Team Cash in a cage of death or something like that. And it was pretty good. Ruckus, Jack Evans, someone else, and then. The other team had J.C. Bailey, uh, Spider Web or something like that, Spider Nate Web or something like that, and then it's got Luke Hawks and Alcatraz and Nick Grimes, and it showed like a thing from backstage, and it had Mickey Knuckles, it had her match on there, her debut, her tryout match on there, um, and then it showed them, it said. There was just some weird stuff on there, like, um, it showed the transformation of Fabian Kalen. He was this normal person, and, and now he, like, then he started wearing these weird hats and, um, suspenders, and, like, he had that painting on his eye. Um, but this was an awesome first season and last season. Everyone should go get this. It's about $15 for about 12 hours of wrestling and event and stuff like it was really good i gave it a 10 out of 10 i get i wish this was still going but um yeah the the first match they had was the wrestling society rumble they had chris hamrick uh most of the stars that were on here they had new jack um there was a thing on the side with a cage and if you if if it was, I think it was, you suicide that fell on it and it blew up. And they had some corny effects, though. I don't think the stuff really blew up and all that. And, uh, they had, uh, a thing with, like, this electric stuff and uh, chaos and Luke Hawks fell into it. Um, I'm probably gonna have to make this video into two and I'll just put them together, I think I'll be able to do that. But, um, uh, then there was one match where Vic Grimes got thrown into this light tube thing, it was crazy, and then they had lots of guest appearances, 3-6 Mafia, Newfound Glory, Good Charlotte, Pitbull, and, uh, Teddy Hawk, Teddy Hart shocked uh, one of the Trailer Park boys with this like random electric cord, and Ricky Banderas threw you suicide off the top of the bunker, like the f crates things. Um, and uh, look, there's Teddy Hart doing the shooting star press or whatever, and they're it's part of the. Prawn death match with Aaron Aguilar. I'm gonna put Lo Cholo in it. Um, yeah, but this is part one. Bye. This is part two. Wrestling Society X review. Um, uh, what was I talking about? The that 
the cartel, whatever. Uh, the cartel came out and started beating up everybody, putting fish on people. Eric Cannon got beat up. They put him in like, oh, like wet cement, and then threw him on the floor. I don't think that was really cement though. And uh, oh crap, they put him on cement and stuff. And uh, they put a fish on him like they do after they beat up someone. And then the Piranha Death Match happened, be like when uh, like the cartel was jumped. Let's put just guapos, and they wanted to not want dead fish. They wanted real live piranhas and stuff. And then uh, they had a table sliders and cervezas match, and it was. Uh, Luke Hawks and Alcatraz versus Los Pochos Guapos. They had some really good matches. I don't really remember who won. It was about, say, a month ago since I watched it. Because I downloaded all of the episodes on my iPod from this YouTube video player app. But I watched all the Wrestling Society extras and bonus materials and stuff. Um, what else was there good about? This, there was, uh, there was, I'm trying to think of some more matches and stuff. They had a, the dance off with Jack Evans and Human Tornado as a draw, and then they had a match, and it went to a draw because of the time limit. Um, they said they was going to have a heavyweight, or not heavyweight, but, um, a, uh, like a, light heavyweight or high flying championship and a tag team championship but I wish they would have had at least a second season I wanted to, I would want to see what would happen and there was some of this stuff like there was one of the extras we could see the notes that they had that they sent in to MTV and then they edited it after MTV saw it was pretty cool to see some of the early stuff um there was the, like, Ricky Banderas came back because he said that Mexico Vampiro did the exploding coffin and it blew up his face and that's why it looks like that. Uh, like, and then he tried to save X-Pac and then the Vampiro ended up facing Ricky Banderas and, um, and imagine Ricky Banderas still... Title only changed hands once, cause the first the episode had the rumble match and it was at the end. It was a uh, like the last four people or whatever had to get up on the ladder and get the uh, <coughs> contracts hanging up. And X Pac and Vampiro got one, and then X they had a match. Vampiro won and. They had a uh, Matt Sydal and X Pac feud. Uh, like X Pac, she, she thought that like Matt Sydal thought that Lizzie was cheating on him, and um, this is just really good. Uh, trying to think some more stuff. Uh, Matt Classic was like some old wrestler. That had a, was in a coma, and he came back, <coughs> and uh, he came back and he did like all the old stuff, and he did old moves and stuff. Um, <coughs> uh, when D I F H came out, they always said there was like emo and stuff, and. Jimmy Jacobs was like always playing his phone, and uh, Seth Rollins or Tyler Black was always angry. And he, Jimmy Jacobs, was throwing his phone around, and he always tried to like not hurt wrestler people. And mostly, most of the time, Tyler Black won the match for him. And they had a pretty even uh, tag team division. They they all had lots of good wrestlers. Uh, Uh, what else? I don't really know what else to say. Uh, but um, a lot of the people came from XPW. 
like the announcers, him, uh, Vic Grimes, Chaos, uh, yeah, Chris Hamrick, New Jack, Vic Grimes. I don't really know what else to say, um, but it was really good. I wish the company didn't die out so fast, um, but I've been wanting this for c quite a while, and I finally got it for Christmas. It was like $15, but I say it's worth it, um, but yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.